During the morning rush hour in Tokyo, lethal sarin gas was released into the subway system. Twelve died. A thousand were injured. The perpetrators were not common criminals. They were doctors, lawyers, scientists. All were members of the doomsday cult Arm Shinri Kyo, a faith preaching Armageddon. The founder of this religion was Shoko Asahara, a partially blind, middle-aged former yoga instructor. How did Asahara compel well-educated people to commit such an evil act? Born into a poor family in March 1955, Asahara was given the name Chizuo Matsumoto. His father was a craftsman. After Chizuo lost most of his eyesight to infantile glaucoma, his family sent him away to a school for the blind. Because he had somewhat more sight than his more severely disabled classmates, he was able to bully them. He became both feared and followed. The boy loved to read science fiction and claimed he would one day rule a robot kingdom. After school, he applied to a prestigious Tokyo University, but was rejected. While Matsumoto's academic career had come to a close, he would soon flourish as the leader of a religious cult that included highly trained scientists, some of whom set about developing weapons of mass destruction. Chizuo Matsumoto lost most of his eyesight at an early age and spent much of his childhood at a school for the blind in Japan. There he developed the ability to both bully and lead his peers. But when he finished secondary school in 1977, he was not admitted to university. He began practicing acupuncture and teaching yoga. Matsumoto discovered the writings of Nostradamus, the 16th century French astrologer who foretold the end of the world. The young man became obsessed with the idea of Armageddon. He began to have delusions while meditating. In one, he claimed to have been called to become a god of light and directed to create an army to bring about Armageddon. Matsumoto believed that he would survive the apocalypse and emerge as ruler of the world. In 1987, he changed his name to Shoko Asahara and formed a religion called Aum Shinri Kyo, or Supreme Truth. He registered himself as the leader. Asahara attracted new followers using persuasive videos that claimed he possessed godlike powers. He targeted intelligent but lost souls, among them scientists and engineers who were seeking meaning in their lives. He told them that if they followed him, they would find a path to salvation in a new world. But that world could only be created if this one was destroyed. By 1990, Asahara had recruited 5,000 adherents. He ordered some of his scientist followers to develop a wired helmet for new students to wear. Its purpose? To align their brain waves with Asahara's in order to better understand his thoughts. It was called the PSI, Perfect Salvation Initiation. He also ordered cult members to wear masks of his likeness and to, while wearing them to demonstrate devotion. As Asahara's disciples continued to worship him as a god, his ego is inflated and his delusions are intensified, ultimately making him even more dangerous. But Asahara's ultimate goal was the creation of a new world by bringing about Armageddon. 
His scientist followers were directed to develop weapons of mass destruction. They set up a factory to produce the deadly nerve gas, sarin. The doomsday cult was preparing for a massive attack. In 1995, Asahara ordered the release of the deadly sarin into the Tokyo subway. The March 20th attack killed 12 and wounded a thousand. He and his inner circle were arrested and charged with multiple counts of murder. Asahara expressed disappointment about the low death toll. <laughs> 